Hey yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome or welcome to another WWE 2K17 guide video. So right now I want to show you guys something very simple, but that is basically off as soon as you start the game. So if you don't turn it on, you're basically not going to be able to use this feature. So this is pretty cool because now in WWE 2K17, you could actually target the referee. You could also target tag team partners, of course, and as well as managers. So all you have to do during a match, press start, go to the options, go to target, and then you're going to get a bunch of options and all the way in the bottom you're basically able to turn on the target tag team partner the manager and also target referee so once that is on you're good to go basically you press the right stick and you're gonna be able to switch between the opponent the referee or anybody else who's in the match obviously counting the tag team partners and also the managers so you could swap between both of them back and forth when it comes to the referee though like you cannot directly go towards him and attack him I mean you could attack him by running towards him and then doing your running move but it's not like you could grapple him or something like that definitely not but when you do have him down you could go up the rope and you could actually do an elbow drop or anything else that your superstar that you're currently using does when you do try to grapple him it's pretty funny because it's like the ref is actually being distracted he starts taking your hands away from him and kind of making that gesture that he's gonna disqualify you you could also throw a couple of punches at him obviously anything that does not require you to grapple him you're basically able to do to him and that's pretty much it guys really wanted to show you this feature because it looks like a lot of people don't even know about it and might not even know about it until a while i wanted to make sure that you guys know about it and make sure that you turn it on and again if you haven't seen blood in the game and you do want to play with blood you also have to turn it on in the option setting not necessarily in the end game option but instead in the main menu options just go to settings and you can handle that there but anyway guys thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial tip i guess as always you guys already know much more coming so make sure that you guys stay tuned to my channel check out my other wwe 2k17 guy videos that i posted already i have a playlist where you guys could check all of that out but anyways guys uh, thank you guys for watching drop a like if you guys found this informative because we in the road to 3,000 subscribers much to you dig it